Welcome back to another First and Ten film session. My name is Reed, and today we're going to be looking at another young talent, Graham Mertz. Graham Mertz is listed as a six foot three, two hundred five pound pro style quarterback at a Blue Valley North High School in Kansas. This is going to be his red shirt freshman year, and he will be stepping into Jack Cohn's former starting role after Cohn suffered an injury this off season. Cohn is currently recovering from surgery on his foot and is out indefinitely. Cohn could get his starting spot back when he's recovered should he be healthy again this season, but Mertz is the starter as of now, and it is absolutely possible he becomes the full-time starter depending on his performances in the early to mid-season games. He's only attempted 10 passes in two games for the Cardinal and White, but he was on the national spotlight in the All-American Bowl in 2019, where he received MVP honors. So jumping into his pros and cons, pros, he's listed as a pro-style quarterback, but he is mobile. He hasn't had to do a whole lot of running in his career due to good offensive line play throughout high school, uh, and he has some good composure in, in the pocket, which I'll get to in a minute, but he can run if he has to. Wisconsin hasn't really had a true dual-threat dual, dual quarterback since Russell Wilson, and they've relied on their top-tier running backs to get the job done on the ground. Now, with an elusive quarterback and no true Heisman-caliber running back as things stand, we may see a transformation in this Badgers offense. But like I said a moment ago, he is cool in the pocket and deals with pressure well. He has a tendency to not waste a lot of time getting passes off, and he doesn't get rattled by defenses very often. Pair that with a Wisconsin team whose offensive line has been one of the best in the country for years, and you have a dangerous combo. Speaking of dangerous combos, he had some success throwing to receivers who are fast and love the deep ball. He's going to have that in college with Danny Davis and Kendrick Pryor, the two batters wideouts who will finally get some more action this season now that Quintez Cephas, who caught the majority of the passes last season, is gone. But now we get into the cons. There are not a lot of cons with this player, and the only real issue is that it's going to take him time to really shine at the FBS level. This is where I'm a bit worried for him, because he's coming into a big program with high expectations. He was a four-star recruit, he won the MVP at the All-American Bowl, everybody online seems to share the opinion that he is the future of Wisconsin Badgers football. With all that in consideration, I think he's built for this level of football, but he won't be in an immediate resounding success. Although he has great mechanics and plays well in the pocket, he's not a pinpoint accurate passer, and he could struggle a bit against the bigger schools on Wisconsin's schedule. Wisconsin's first game will be against a good secondary in the Fighting Illini, so he could throw a pick or two on one of those deep lobs he likes to throw. But in weeks two and three, the Badgers face two of the worst defenses in the Big Ten in Nebraska and Purdue. This could work out very well for him, and he could settle into this starting QB role well when he goes against these defenses who probably won't be able to stop him, as well as, say, a Michigan or in Illinois or one of these better uh, defensive teams could. So all I have to ask of Wisconsin fans is to be patient. Graham Mertz is the truth, and he is the future of Wisconsin's offense. You just have to give him time.